More than six months after the Ebola outbreak began in West Africa, the global response is in the spotlight. A memo from the World Health Organization leaked last month suggested incompetent staff and a lack of information hampered efforts to stop the disease from spreading. Questioned on the issue Wednesday, WHO Director General Margaret Chan acknowledged there were problems. There will be time for history and we will reveal how the whole world and especially the big toe manage the Ebola outbreak. But at this point in time, it is important for us to focus our entire energy and attention to help countries who are being affected to get the job done. The Ebola outbreak has laid bare an institution in crisis, says global health policy expert Sophie Harmon of Queen Mary University of London. The World Health Organization should have had a clear leadership role in the Ebola response, but increasingly we see bilateral organizations such as the UK Department for International Development or the US government taking a lead role. Multilaterally, it's really been the World Bank that's stepped up in this regard. And the World Bank has no confidence in the World Health Organization. The World Bank pledged an extra $100 million last month for the fight against Ebola. Several United Nations agencies are also involved. Again, Sophie Harmon. We have multiple institutions, but nobody really directing where these energies should be going towards. The United States has taken on the biggest burden in funding and manpower. The first group of military members from the U.S. Ebola mission returned home Tuesday. China and European states have faced criticism for their contributions. Barry Johnston is with a British charity working in the region. Unfortunately, the response has been shockingly slow uh, and is still not good enough. We still have seen some of the major global donors, the EU, are not stepping up. And it's only really, and it's worrying, that when it starts to threaten their own doors that they're prepared to respond. The European Union's health commissioner visited Sierra Leone and called on EU states to do more. I appeal to the EU member states to encourage health workers and volunteers, especially epidemiologists, to put hesitation and fear aside and go to West Africa and to help fight Ebola now. Campaigners claim global efforts to fund the fight against Ebola are being undermined because multinational companies in the region are failing to pay taxes they owe affected countries. Again, Barry Johnston of ActionAid. So ActionAid looked at the three countries affected by the Ebola crisis, Sierra Leone, Guinea and Liberia, and found that uh, in 2011, the last year that figures are available, those countries actually lost more money to tax avoidance than they were able to spend on their health services. Analysts say rebuilding those health systems will be the crucial next step for the international community. For now, all efforts are directed at containing the disease. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.